What's up YouTube? Dow here from Zephyr War Games, and today I'm bringing you the second of the brand new art types that came out in Amazing Defenders. Technically the day of release of this video is the 19th of January, so the set is officially legal for you guys to pick up, and I wanted to bring you an updated version, or a just new version, of Rescue Aces. So this is the art type that I was most hyped about. It is really kind of cool, and I've gone through a lot of concepts, so massive shout out to Kyron on this one. You kind of come up with a couple of ideas, gave me a different ideas to kind of build and adapt the deck around of it, uh, and I really do like the way this deck works and there are a couple of little spicy texts that make it um, kind of operate a bit better. Anyway, uh, please smash that like button, hit the notification bell and subscribe so you do not miss out on any more upcoming content and we're going to dive head first into this Rescue Ace profile. So again, I haven't actually been able to pick up the physical cards as of yet. I have put in a couple of side deck cards and other little tech cards I've seen going around as well. So it's def definitely something to keep your eye on. I feel that this Apart from the Pearlies, will actually be a little bit more expensive because you do need to be playing three of the Fire Hydrant and then you do need to be playing like twos of the other Ultras that you'll see as we go through this profile. So let's start with the first one. So the first one is the Air Hoister. So if this card is normal or special, you get to add a Rescue Ace spell from your deck to the hand. It is a level four and it is a Warrior, which is actually really, really important for the Small World tech that we'll cut onto a little bit later. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, Quick effect, you can tribute this card from your hand or field to special on a Rescue Ace monster from your hand except himself. Now what makes that really kind of cool is if you wanted to, you could play Reinforcer of the Army, but because we're playing Small World, um, I'm actually maxing out on most of the Warriors or making sure that I'm maxing out on the copies of them. Um, but obviously what this is works out really, really nice is it has the ability to get you to your field spell, and the field spell we'll talk about a little bit later on, but it gives you the ability of an additional normal summon. We then get into the Fire Attacker. Now this one is really, really kind of cool. So if a Rescue Ace monster or monsters other than itself is normal or special to the field, you get to special on this card from the hand. Now what makes this really important is that it's an if effect. Now if effects go off on a new chain, when effects need to chain directly to whatever has happened. So if this card said when a Rescue Ace monster is normal or special, you would basically go normal summon Hydrant, chain effect of Rescue, um, rescue Attacker. Because it's an if effect, you can normal summon your Hydrant. Is the normal summon successful? And they go, yeah, that's successful. You then get to go, cool, Chain Link 1, Fire Attacker. Or um, you kind of get to move a, a different place around with it that way. And it can chain block certain elements. And it works out really, really nicely, which is why you max out on three on this guy. If a card or card is added to your opponent's hand except by drawing it, you can draw two cards and discard one card. So that's kind of cool as well because that gives you a bit of draw through. If you want to be going for hand traps, obviously with a deck like this you don't do that, you're all gas. You put on your boss monster on the board in defense, you set your four spells and traps, and you push your plays further forward from there. We then go into Rescue Ace Fire Engine. Now, I actually really like this card. So if a Rescue Ace monster or monsters other than itself is normal special, you can special on this card from the hand. So again, that's where you can kind of go, okay, cool. Chain it one, fire attacker, chain it two, fire engine, and then they'll start summoning themselves down, and then on a new chain they can get additional effects if there are some to resolve. Um, if a monster or monsters is special summoned to your opponent's field, except during damage step, you get to special summon a level four or lower rescue ace monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So that's another way of getting hydrant to the board. Speaking of which, the card that this deck revolves around quite a lot is rescue ace hydrant. So while you control a Rescue Ace monster other than itself, your opponent's monsters cannot target this card for attacks, and it cannot be targeted with card effects. Why couldn't it just become it is unaffected by all other card effects? Because then it would make it so much harder for your opponent to deal with this if you made it a mini Blooming Towers. Anyway, um, you can only use each of the following effects once per turn. So you can activate one quick play spell card or trap card set by your Rescue Ace card's effect this turn, um, or the turn it was set. During your main phase, you can add a Rescue Ace monster from your deck to the hand. So again, it can just search out whatever it needs. And ideally, you're going to be going for the Turbulence, which is your main boss monster, which we'll get onto in a little bit. We've then got one, uh, Triple Impulse, which again is a Warrior level 3. So during your main phase, you get to choose one effect monster your opponent controls with the highest attack, your choice if tied, and neither player can activate that monster's effects on the field this turn. So it's a very nice way to kind of block out a Fenrir. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, quick effect, you can tribute this card from the hand or field to special summon one machine rescue ace monster from your deck. So keep that in mind because this is a mixture of warriors and machines, and that's where Hydrant comes into play, that's where your fire attacker comes into play, your engine, and of course your turbulence. 
We've then got the One Intruder. Now, the reason we're only playing One Intruder is if it is normal or special, you get to add a Rescue Ace trap from your deck to the hand. You'll see we're only playing three, and nine times out of ten, they're getting set off of your turbulence anyway, so it's less relevant. It does have a nice quick effect to tribute this card from your hand or field to target a Rescue Ace monster in, uh, in your graveyard, accept itself, and special summon it. So it's a way of regaining back some resources. We've then got two Turbulence, so this is your main boss monster. Um, so what makes this card so good is it's a 3k attacker, 3k defender. You banish two Rescue Ace cards. So this includes the spells and traps as well. To special on this card from the hand. It's a shame it can't special from the graveyard as well. That would have been really nice. During the main phase, you can set up to four Rescue Ace quick plays and or normal traps with different names directly from your deck. If another card or cards you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, you get to target one card in the field and destroy it. So if they're like MST in your back row, you just go, okay, cool, turbulence, pop it. Okay, moving on to the cards that are not uh, Rescue Aces in the Monster Zone, we've got three Fenris. This can actually be swapped out for a Super Quantum Red Layer if you haven't got Fenris. Uh, there are some little techs that work really nicely with Fenris, unlocking some additional Synchro plays, some more bridges for uh, Small World, but you can pretty much do those bridges with the uh, Super Quantum Monster as well. We've got the Giznek uh, Naganaki. This card is insane for this deck. So you tribute one machine monster whose attack equals its own defense, including itself, and special on from your deck a machine monster whose attack equals its defense but with a lower level. Hello, Fire Hydrant. Yep, that's right. You now have technically six copies of Fire Hydrant in your deck. It's mad. Um, and the reason we're playing free on this is because we also play Machine Dude, which I'll get to in a little bit. But on top of that as well, if you were to activate Small World as a bridge and you get to this guy, because it is a machine, you can pretty much your middleman can be. So one of the examples is you reveal Fenrir, Fenrir from the hand. So you special summon out Fenrir, search out second copy of itself, reveal that Fenrir in the hand with Small World, reveal the fire engine because they're both level 7s, but nothing else matches because it's 24, 24, 25, 25. And then off of the back of the fire engine, you can actually go into your Gizmek because it is a light and the only thing that it shares is the fact it's a machine. Why that is important is because you can then normal summon the Naganaki, use the effect to tag itself out to special summon out the fire hydrant. You can then use um, the Naganaki's effect in the graveyard to target one of your banished face, or well, not target, but you get to add to your hand one of your banished face down machine monsters whose attack equals its own defense. Hello, fire engine, 25, 25, equal add it back, and then you get to push further forward from there. So that's why we're maxing out on that guy. Um, I've gone with two Regulus, and the reason I've gone with two Regulus is again, he makes a very nice bridge. So if I wanted to, I could actually reveal um, Fenrir. Fenrir could then reveal Regulus from the deck, and then I can go into any of my machine, um, any of my machine rescue aces, basically. Off the back of that as well, the bridge can also work in reverse. So I could reveal the fire engine, I could then reveal Fenrir in the deck, I can then get into a Regulus. So Regulus is just a very nice um, Omni Negate to protect all of your plays going further forward. Because a lot of builds are burning through, like they're setting the four, but they're going to like four or maybe sometimes even five summons. Um, and Regulus is just a really nice negate to have on the board. Small World, I've pretty much talked about most of the bridges from this, but that's where the Warriors come into play, and that's also where this Renard comes into the play at the bottom of the screen as well. So what I mean by that is technically you can reveal any of your monsters, get to another fire monster in the middle, that as long as it's not a warrior, you're good to go, and search out your Renard. Renard can summon down if you control one of the Warriors, and then that unlocks additional Synchro plays for you, especially a very synchro, uh, a very spicy Synchro play, shout out Chiron, in the form of the Lavarval Exo Lord, which I'll get to when we get to the extra deck. But the small world bridges, I think, are really kind of cool. There's a lot of different options. You can add Ash Blossom in if you want to. The issue is you can't get to Fire Hydrant off of Ash Blossom because they're both fire and they both have zero attack. But it just gives you a lot of different options. that You've got ways of getting to your Fire Hydrant if you don't go through that way. And literally open up the Naganaki or a way to get to Fire Hydrant with a Machine Dude is insanely good as well because you'll get two more Fire Hydrants from the deck which is absolutely fine because you can recycle them. And then you can link two of those off and go into a machine link, a fire link, anything you want link. We then play two of the alert. So he's always treated as a rescue ace card, which is why you can set it. You get to add a rescue ace monster from your graveyard to the hand. Recyclability. If you control rescue ace hydrant, you can actually add a rescue ace monster from your deck instead, which is why it's important to try and keep the hydrant on the board where at all possible. 
The other one which is like alert is rescue, and the reason we're only playing one of this is because you target a rescue ace monster in your graveyard, or if you control hydrant, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard and special summon it. Which, I mean, it's okay, it's not the end of the world, it's not that bad, but again, because they can get recycled, you don't really need to be maxing out on this card. How do they get recycled, I hear you scream? Well, rescue ace headquarters is the way. So while your opponent controls a monster, rescue ace monsters you control gain 500 attack and defense. So under a skill drain battle, it can get very, very powerful. During your main phase, you can normal summon one rescue ace monster in addition to your normal summon a set. Oh, well, thank you very much. I can get a hydrant that I've just searched. Nice. Once per turn, you can target four of your rescue ace cards that are banished and or in the graveyard. Shuffle them into deck, draw one card. Now, you know what I said earlier about turbulence being able to banish just rescue ace cards? That's how you can banish your spells and traps and then put them back in the deck for tournaments to go, you know what, I'm going to reset all four of those again. Now, annoyingly, it's um, they have to be with different names. There is a brand new Rescue Ace uh, trap card that comes out. Again, quite like the Mechanicos that I showed you yesterday. Um, it's okay. It's not that great. The deck does need to have like, its own in-art type stuff like D-Barriers, Imperms and stuff like that. Uh, it does have its own Fiendish Chain, which is kind of cool, which we'll get to in a minute. So the field suppose how you recycle stuff as well. Now obviously it does clash with extravagance, but the way I saw it is technically you don't care about your extra deck. Like you've got enough main deck boss monsters, especially when you're playing Fenrir's and Regulus's as well, that the only time it really hurts you is if you activate Machine Dupe, but then you're getting free fire hydrants on the board anyway. Um, and you can still make plays. Like as long as you build your extra deck correctly, so you've got multiple linked monsters or anything like that, you don't really care. One for one, another way to put a Rescue Ace card in the graveyard or a Rescue Ace monster in the graveyard and get to your Fire Hydrant. Machine Dupe. Now the reason this is so good is like I've mentioned before, you activate Machine Dupe on your Fire Hydrant, you get two more copies of itself. Um, you then can only use this effect once per turn, keep that in mind, it doesn't mean you get free searches, that would be ridiculous. Uh, but then that gives you the ability to make link plays while also keeping a Fire Hydrant on the board to gain you all of the additional effects of your spells and traps. Speaking of the traps, we do play two Contain. Always treat it as a rescue ace card. If you control a rescue ace monster, target effect monster your opponent controls. This turn that effect monster cannot attack and its effects are negated. If you control hydrant, it also cannot be used as material for a fusion, synchro, XYZ, or link. Nice. And then we play the one extinguish. Again, always treat it as a rescue ace card. If you control a rescue ace monster, target effect monster your opponent controls, destroy it. Then if you control hydrant, this turn your opponent cannot activate the effects of the destroyed monster all monsters with the same original name. So it's very good against tier elements because you pop their card, they're going to be like, oh, I want to trigger their effect. You go, nope, I had Hydrant when I did that, and that's why it's not going to work. Now, obviously, you can see the reason that Contain is a little bit better than Extinguish, which is why it's a 2 and a 1, quite like with Alert and uh, Rescue as well. So some of the uh, side deck cards, but other options as well you can consider is Goza Match. Now, Goza Match is very specific because you would then need to consider getting rid of Fenris and your Regulises and even the uh, Naganakis. But this came in the set, so it's not really expensive at all. Um, but it's something that you would then, you you probably cut your Naganakis down to like ones or two and then use this effect and then flip a Gozen. Skill Drain, because your main boss monster is 3k. Yes, you're not going to be able to set your spells and traps, but you can still recycle them with headquarters. And if your opponent controls a monster, your monster becomes a 3500 boss monster, which is going to be very difficult for any deck to beat down um, under a Skill Drain. True King, Agamazoo, The Vanisher, well, you're all playing Fire Monsters, so why not get a nice banish going second? And then we've got the Duradol. Now, Duradol can actually search you out a level 5 or lower Fire Warrior. So what is level 5 or lower? Well, you've got your Hoister, you've also got your Impulse, and you also have your Intruder alongside Super Quantum Red Lair. Keep in mind that going second, you can actually equip this to one of your opponent's cards, destroy it, and then search yourself out a Red Lair, which is basically going to be a free summon. Um, so it's kind of a cool option. It's a different option to Fenrir. I wouldn't advise playing both of these because both of the cards say, if you control no monsters. So you're not going to want to go, oh, I've got Fenrir. Oh, I've got um, Red Lair. Mm. Obviously, the answer is you're going to go Fenrir, but it's not one that you want to be putting yourself in a situation of. It is a very nice budget alternative if you don't have Fenrir. It doesn't affect the bridges too much because it is a war uh, warrior fire. So then what it means is your bridge in the middle would need to be a machine fire, and then that's how they connect their pieces together. Moving on to the extra deck. Now, the extra deck I'm going to show you is all one-offs, but if you're playing extra, you can actually multiply these up or put multiple copies in any of cards you want to keep. So I'm going to go from links backwards because it probably goes from less spicy, pretty generic, to very spicy. I like that idea. So access code. Okay, cool. 
Uh, Salomon Great, Sunlight Wolf. I actually got the idea from, I believe it's Athena Games or Amphia Games. So the reason this is pretty cool is that you do have a card like Alert that lets you, um, sorry, not Alert, where is it? Rescue that lets you special summon one from the graveyard. So it'll allow you to recycle your fires from the graveyard. So it's a cool little tech card. I like the idea of that. Appaloosa, uh, Link Karibo, Relinquish Animar, Unicorn, IP, pretty standard on that. Um, do Little Chimera, this is just funny because Do Little Chimera is basically going to be your field spell for your fires, buff all of their attacks, which is really nice. The idea is that this would then be able to bring back a fire monster, you then add an additional monster to the board, link up, gains access code, asset code, cool, one shot, punch, let's go. This is where the spice comes in, so again, shout out to Kyron on this one. Lavarval Exlord, how do you make this? It is a level 8 synchro monster, requires one tuner and then one or more non-tuner fire monsters, which you are littered with. Now the easiest way to do this is of course going with your fire engine plus your Renard as it's a level 1 and a level 7. And what makes this so good is when your opponent activates an effect of a monster on the field or in their hand. Hmm, what cards do we have now that are really bloody annoying that activate in the hand? Oh yeah, by steals. So, you can destroy that monster and if you do, inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. So this is one of the important kind of notes that I made earlier about when and if effects. This one is a when effect. So if they were to go, okay, activate Bicycle Druid Swarm in the hand to target, let's say, your Naga, um, Naganaki in the graveyard. You go, chain, Lavarval Synchro Lord. Okay, so destroy the Druid Swarm, which means the Druid Swarm cannot banish the summon because its target is cost. I will then burn you for a thousand damage. Now, if this second effect is a little less relevant, um, I believe it can only actually bring back Ronald, which is pretty funny, but still kind of cool. Uh, so if this Synchro Summon card in its owner's control is destroyed by the opponent's card, you can special summon up to three non-Synchro Fire Monsters with exactly 200 defense in your graveyard. But they get their effect. So you get Renard. I don't believe there is any others that had 200. I think all of these pretty much match their stats. Um, I mean, if you get a rubber, you could rub out the 2000 at the start of that one. But, but the, the second effect is not important. It's more so just being able to go, cool, stop that by steal, burn you for a thousand, lol. Uh, and then we get into the XYZs, so Zeus is pretty standard, I'm going to work my way back from this one. But then we play free rank 1, so we've got the in Assembled Nightingale, basically you make it and get into Zeus. Um, that's where you'd probably want a Downed Magician. I've also gone with the Ensemble Robin. I just like the idea that technically I can make this with two Fire Hydrants. So if I activate Machine Dupe and I'm like, okay cool, I've banished my Link 2s or whatnot, you can overlay two into an Ensembled Robin. Now obviously it wouldn't put the monsters in the graveyard to be banished off your turbulence, so keep that in mind. But if you have been able to go a little bit further, you're ending your board on like your set four. Keep in mind with that one fire hydrant that's still on the board from Machine Dude, you can actually activate one of them that turn. So you get to special summon, uh, add a rescue ace from the deck to the hand. Extend your plays a little bit further if you need to, because you'll have two rescue aces in the hand. And get to go further from there. But the other is you just get a nice little bounce protection if you wanted to. So it's just an option to look at. And then we've got the Ghost Trick Dullahan. The reason this is important is Ghost Trick Dullahan can go into Mischief. And it's basically your like your way of having a uh, Downard without having to be in main phase two. Um, but then you'd need to attack with, a down, uh, attack with the Mischief and then get into Zeus. So either or, it's up to you. You can go for basically the Dullahan into Mischief, into Zeus play. Or you can go from Ensemble Nightingale into Downward Magician, into Zeus. So you're getting two different options on that one as well, um, and kind of go from there. But like I said, if you're playing Extravagance, you can play Prosperity if you want to, but I feel with a build like this, you're playing so many main deck boss monsters, you don't really care about your extra deck. I'd rather draw the two random cards that can help me push further. Um, the only other downside is that, because this is at the start of the main phase, you might draw into your Spells and Traps, and technically we've only got five Spells and Traps with different names. So if you were to draw in two of those, and one of, uh, one of those is not one of the doubles, you kind of go, or both of those are not one of the doubles, you kind of go, ah, I can't activate my Turbulence Monster until I get rid of one of these. And q one as well, Hydrant only lets you activate one that has been set via a Rescue Ace card effect that turn. So if you set it via, just by setting it normally, you can't actually activate it. So Anyway, that's pretty much it for the profile. Again, shout out to Kyron, great kind of tech ideas to kind of move it around as well. I really like the concept of this deck. I think it's a kind of a cool option. I still do not believe that anything in Amazing Defenders is meta relevant. I feel that the new card that's been revealed for this um, is not that great, but it's still kind of a cool addition for the deck. It's still a card you're only going to be playing up one of anyway. I like the idea of it being fire engines and, and kind of um, that element, and I would love to see archetypes for like police, 
ambulances, everything like that. Or they can kind of come into this. It'd be great to have like police as wind or police as earth and then um, ambulance as water or as wind. I think it'd be really kind of cool to see that and, and kind of see how that explores. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is kind of a concept to show you all the different options that you do have. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions, by all means, put them in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. With all of that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time, guys, as absolutely always, stay safe, and of course, happy dueling.